Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Mondazir Critique. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new DC movie, Black Adam, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Aldous Hodge, Pierce Brosnan, Sarah Shahi, Bodhi Sabangui, and more. I'm so sure I messed up Bodhi's name and I apologize. Black Adam follows Dwayne's character of the same name, Black Adam or Teth Adam. And he's a sort of all-powerful, godlike person from the ancient civilization Kondok. He has been buried for 5,000 years, but has recently been unearthed by this activist slash archaeologist named Andriana. After resurfacing, Black Adam must now figure out if he's actually a friend or foe to planet Earth. Along with Black Adam, we also have this small Avengers-like crew led by Aldous Hodge, who is Hawkman, uh, and he is with Dr. Fate, a young girl called Cyclone, and a young boy called Adam Smasher, and they're pretty much after Black Adam throughout the movie. This is my third or fourth video I've done about a superhero flick, and I'm just honestly running out of things to say about them, to say about the genre. They all follow the same exact formula to a fault. Regardless of the brand behind them, Marvel or DC, all of the characters kind of look, sound, and behave the exact same. And most of them are all just typically okay as far as movies go. Good, not great. That being said though, I actually did not hate Black Adam. I really did like it. It felt like a standalone film in the best possible way. It didn't need thousands of cameos or call outs from previous DC movies to flesh this story out. Although there was a pretty gratuitous scene featuring the posters of all the DC superhero movies that came before this one. There was also, you know, a pretty interesting subplot about superhero slash government overreach and selective action from said superhero slash government depending on the region. Although this fell by the wayside a bit because you know, Americans and their government always kind of have to be the heroes no matter what in these films. Um, the non-superhero characters are also pretty interesting as well. We have Adriana Tomas, her son Eamon, and his uncle and her brother Kareem. Three people that understand the beauty and power of Kandak and want to see it freed from its imperialist oppressors and find their strength again. They're Black Adam's biggest supporters and are on his side throughout most of the movie. Rock truly isn't too bad here as Black Adam. The guy is a really great action star. You know, nobody looks like him and he's just, he's great in action roles. Though he doesn't get to do too much action-y things here. There are just way too many shots of him glaring into the camera or glaring at somebody and zipping around the screen thanks to CGI. He is a man of a few words and fewer emotions, but I kind of think it works here. I do like the fish out of water aspect to him. Aldous Hodge, Pierce Brosnan, Noah Centineo, and Quintessa Swindell round out the Justice Society group you know, this ragtag team of heroes with various superpowers that we have seen before and various personalities that we have seen before. Like, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know what to say about superhero films anymore. I don't know what to say. It's all the same things headed to the same destination. It just, it's, it's truly a bit boring right about now at, at this point. This, in my opinion, was still the most enjoyable superhero film post Avengers Endgame, but it is still just more of the same. But I am shocked at how much I liked it, truly. it It's again, the first superhero movie I've enjoyed since 2019. Um, even the, the TV series that Marvel has out, I, I preferred Black Adam over it. I think it's a really compelling, origin story and with all the powers Black Adam has, I'm definitely interested in seeing him fight new foes as DC builds its roster. He'd just be, I think, great to watch as a, you know, Superman-ish character. If you are interested in DC and where it's going, you're not going to want to miss this, I'm sure. 
it's a fun good time at the theater overall even though again you've been warned you've seen this before you know the beginning middle and end of this movie but i think it makes for a pretty okay blockbuster and that is the mondesir critique i'll see you guys later